All right, guys, this may be hard to hear. I got the winds blowing about 20, 25 mile an hour, but I backed it out into a little parking lot. And now we're gonna switch it into Ford gear. Ford gear, the power's on. And now we're gonna drive it and test it out. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's got a lot more power than it had before. Big difference. All right, we're coming to the end of my little turn here. Do my U-turn. Spin us around. Mash it. Oh, it wants to spin a little bit. Don't want that to happen. It's brand new tires. Driving it back. Here we go. You can tell by these cars we're passing, it's going faster than it than it was before, well, I can tell. All right, back into where we need to park. And then we'll go over the parts of the golf cart that were installed today. All right, set the parking brake. Got it in neutral. Got the power off. And let's look at our stuff. All right. All right, raising the seat up. And we'll go back and look at our batteries. Our batteries are every all my wires are tight everything's from a negative to a positive negative to a positive negative to positive negative to a positive negative to a positive and back to the negative this is my power from the motor starting and this is your ground which is also from the motor and a ground wire this helps keeps keeps the system from shorting out so what we've done today, we've installed six six volt batteries, which makes a 36 volt system, which is what this golf cart is. Uh, we have series them together or paralleled them. Here we go, all your wires, everything's connected. And yes, that battery right there will be charged or replaced because that just operates the headlights. So overall, very happy. I can tell the golf cart is a lot faster than it was under the old batteries that I had. And those old batteries were probably eight or nine years old. So I really got the life out of them. So in the future, probably what we'll end up doing is if I had the time to do it, is maybe repaint the golf cart and put a different pad down here. This right here is not that hard. It's just a rubberized pad and underneath of it is more plastic um i just got to take these two screws off of it pull that plate that other plate over there and all this stuff here will come off if we want to add a new one so this one right here is getting pretty worn it's got some grease stains and some stuff on it so we may want to spruce it up but overall very happy with the installation i've watched a bunch of videos and uh, i really like the way it turned out and what i can say for if you have never done this before and you're thinking about changing your golf cart batteries, take a picture or take a video so you can go have something back uh, to reference back to. That's what I had to do. I had watched plenty of videos. Some of them explained it well. Some didn't of how to install this. So I wanted to try it for myself and get it done. So very happy with it. And again, these are diehard batteries. That's your series group, uh, the GC2s, and there's a piece of trash on it. Get that off of there. Anyway, these are 225 amp hour, and your reserve capacity is 115 minutes at 75 amps, and that's being off of it, uh, off of a charger when you're driving. So, overall, very happy with it. And if I had to do it all again, now I know how to do it. I have pictures of it. I have videos of it. And if somebody were to bring me a golf cart, say, hey, I saw your video. Can you help me? I sure can. Uh, probably not anybody's going to do that. But if they were to, then I could do it. I know exactly how to do it now just by taking pictures and watching videos. So if you've liked what you watched in this series or this playlist of videos on how to install golf cart batteries, please give me a like. Hit that thumbs up you know, and man, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm just getting started on this and I've really enjoyed it. Putting out videos, 
of doing some things that I find interesting or fascinating. Um, and if you guys have any ideas of some things for me to do that you would like to see done or reviewed, I can do that. Uh, my earlier videos was a review of an Ambio spot cleaner, carpet cleaner. And by the way, that thing did fantastic. Um, I showed you how that thing done. It's it's not a Bissell, you know, professional spot cleaner. But for what I need to use it for, it did fine. So I have no issues with that. Uh, really enjoyed it. So anyway, till the next videos come out uh, of something that I'm doing. This is J to J or J's day to day uh, items for review and things that I like to do. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.